Welcome to Face to Face. We're here with Ms. Abigail Smith, your candidate for secretary in the Sir Philip Sherlock Hall Council Elections 2024. Abigail, where are you from? I'm from Trinidad and Tobago. Okay. 86. Eight. 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 Two six great, you know, but anyway, mm -hmm. eight six great. We'll go that way. What is your major, Abigail? Law. What is law? Yes. And you're a first year, right? Yes. Okay, wonderful. What do you enjoy doing most in your free time? I love to read, I love to write, I love anything that has to do with words. And I also like taking pictures with my little digicam. So, you know, if you're out, you might see me. Okay. What's your favorite book that you've read so far? My favorite book that I've read so far is No Longer Human by Osama Desai. Those have been your background questions, so let's focus more on your candidacy now. Mm -hmm. What made you want to run for a position on the Hall Council? Because I love Sherlock, it's as simple as that. Um, I think that being on this Hall Council, I think that I would have a lot to offer. And I think that Sherlock has already done so much that I would love to be a part of, you know, carrying our potential, you know. When I first came, I think that um, the current is that they welcomed me so much and I would like to, you know, be there, you know, next academic year and welcoming people the exact same way um, and doing things for the freshers and, you know, carrying on the Sherlock legacy. Right, wonderful. So why specifically secretary? Um, being secretary aligns with my current skill set very well. Like I said, I'm very good with words, I'm very good with organization, I'm very good with writing. And I think that um, a lot of the secretary's um, requirements mm -hmm. align very much with what I already do um, in terms of um, recording things um, in any of my you know law meetings and stuff like that I'm always the person taking notes and I just think that I have a lot of ideas as well that I think I could bring to the position and do really well in. Okay very interesting you had mentioned before that you really love Sherlock so what has been your favorite memory so far in your mm. time here in Sherlock? My favorite memory from my time here on Sherlock has to be, I think, um, beach day during Freshers' Week. Um, I didn't go in the water, but, mm -hmm. you know, being there, seeing all these good vibes and everything, it was just a really special moment for me. Oh, and I also, also seeing the turtles run out, the baby oh, turtles hatching yeah. and running out, I think that was a very, very special moment. Um, the previous secretary, Jada, also mentioned later that week after we saw the turtles that the turtles kind of represent us like we're freshers and we're wasting out of our shell we're coming to a new country and we're experiencing new things and i will always remember that memory as you know it's like a representation of coming to barbados and you know beginning my life as an adult wonderful uh, are there any current initiatives by the secretary or even previous secretaries that you would like to continue yes there are so um um, the previous secretary, Jada, I think she had a lot of good ideas and I think she did a fantastic job. Um, I'd love to continue her writing workshops and um, her publishing of the calendars of events. Um, from a previous um, exec, there was office hours where, you know, residents could come in and talk to members on the exec about their different issues. And I think that we should really bring that back. Um, a little bit of a more fun thing I want to bring back as well is that if you check the link tree, we have a Sherlock cookbook but we only have volume one, and I think we should do a volume two, so I'd love to do that. Okay, Are there any new initiatives that you want to implement, or you want to leave those for me? I will, I will share, I will share some. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to make a comprehensive freshers guide um, mm -hmm. and publish that right around the beginning of um, the next term, semester one. Um, it would just have, you know, tips for living on your own, handling expenses, you know, how to handle your life living mm -hmm. by yourself. Um, it could even have some tips from people from diff different faculties, people from SOSI, people from law, people from MedSci, who live on Sherlock being like, oh, this is what I wish I would have known as a fresher. And I, I oh, and also the shuttle schedule, because that's something I wish I knew when I first came. Um, so yeah, I, that's one thing that I definitely want to do. All right, okay. Um, all of you personally contributed to the Hall slogan, know you, know me, but all of you. I think I personally, felt it mostly because no you no we but all of we i think that while i'm here i've really leaned on my sherlock family i really leaned on my friends that i've made here for emotional support obviously when you leave your country and you come to a new place with no connections you know you have to rely on the people that you're with you become like your found family and i really leaned on um specifically a lot of like the law students but not just the first year law students 
like a lot of people on hold just asking for advice um shout out to chidika who's the current welfare officer who has been really good to talk to about her about like my problems and i really think that like you know when i could have felt alone i was able to you know go next door go to go talk to somebody and not feel alone like feel like i'm in a family so and i'm assuming that you did the same for others as well i did do the same for others i'm not gonna bust anybody's scenes but yes i have done the same for others and i've tried to have people lean on me when they need a friend to lean on okay all right so last question for this interview mm -hmm. uh, there's a new fresher looking truth you know how to live on uh, sell shout out to them okay so you should come to sherlock first of all we have ac um no but besides that um besides that um sherlock is where you go if you want a family other halls my other halls don't have that same family values that Sherlock has. It doesn't have the history that Sherlock has. And it doesn't matter what people say. I think that if you want the best, most comprehensive hall experience, you should come to Sherlock.